today we're going to show you a little bit of something about flying and training your orientation. I like to call it orientation because it's so boring you want to fall asleep while you're flying. So here are the steps to improve or to refresh your orientation. If you already have your orientation and you feel like you're rusty, this is what you want to do. If you don't have your orientation, you want to take it step by step and do all these steps to kind of polish your orientation and learn your orientation. So let's do it. Three. All right, so the first one. Tail in hovering, five seconds. Side hovering, five seconds. Side hovering this side, right side, five seconds. And obviously you want to keep it relatively in the same spot here. And then nose in hovering, five seconds. All right, after you're done with that, you got all those mastered, start into figure eight. Okay, and you want to do both figure eight. Nice and flat, nice and slow. Practice your turns. Okay, and then switch to figure eight rotation and go this way. Try to be as smooth as you can. All right, after you're done with that, guess what? It's time to do it backwards. Backwards flight, figure eight. Over here, see I'm a little bit rusty. Not as tight as I'd like because my orientation is a little bit rusty. Okay, and then reverse the direction. Come around here. And sticks out. And then sticks in. It's good to have something to tell yourself, to tell you where the stick position is going to be. Sticks in, okay, and then sticks out. All right, once you've mastered all those figure eights, backwards and forwards, guess what? It's time to flip this thing upside down. Okay, so first, we do nose and hovering. A lot of people start tail in, but we'll do nose and hovering. Five seconds. Side hovering. Five seconds. Tail in, hovering. Five seconds. Other side. Five seconds. And I'm running through this as fast as I can because I don't want this uh, to be too boring for you to watch. It's, it's kind of like watching paint dry. You really, you kind of want to fall asleep sometimes when you do this. So after that, here we go. Figure eight. Figure eight this direction. Oh boy. Yep, a little bit rusty there. And this isn't my helicopter, so if I crash it into the telephone pole, Cleveland won't have any problems rebuilding this. Okay, then after that, bring it back and same thing. Here we go. Tail in, or tail first, figure eight. A little bit rusty there. Try to do these as smooth as you possibly can. Guaranteed, a lot of people won't even be able to complete this whole circuit. All right, after you've mastered all the tail uh, tail in, or I'm sorry, inverted stuff. Here we go. Pirouetting in one spot. You want to pirouette right in front of yourself. Then try to move the helicopter to the left. And without stopping your pirouette, you want to try to move the helicopter to the right. And then back to the left. Stop it in the center. After that, it gets a lot more advanced. There's a lot more to orientation. 
I mean, you could you could see we're going to start pirouetting and moving around and controlling it. You could pirouette out. You can pirouette in, side to side. You start pirouetting inverted, moving it left, moving it right, and really controlling the model. Once you have the ability to control the model pirouetting, I'd say you are reaching the master level and you should start competing. That's it. Borientation.